night we were so tired we went to bed at around like 8 p.m here and we were fighting to stay awake for those last few hours because we wanted to kind of stick it out so we can try to get on their time zone but oh my gosh it was so hard and i slept from like 8 p.m until 3 a.m and then we both woke up at 3 a.m and we couldn't fall back asleep so we both just went on our phones for a couple of hours until 5 and then we fell back asleep at 5 joel woke up at like 8 o'clock i could not get myself to get out of bed until 12 because 8 o'clock is like 2 a.m vancouver time so when i woke up my body literally felt like it was the middle of the night it was crazy i'm like why am i so tired right now and i thought that my body would easily adjust if i just went to bed at eight last night but apparently my body still knew that it was the middle of the night so i was fighting and anyways i ended up going to sleep until 12 because i just couldn't do it like i just needed the rest and i did we didn't really sleep the night before anyways um it's already like three o'clock but yeah these next couple of days i'm just we're just gonna be getting adjusted to the time zone kind of getting to know the area a little bit today i just want to focus on organizing all of my stuff because i have so many things and there's like as you can see a little closet behind me joel said that he doesn't want to put any of his stuff away so he's fine with keeping it in his luggage so i guess he told me that i can have everything which is kind of nice i mean there's not like a bunch of space but there's like a good amount where i can still kind of organize my my things but anyways um yeah i guess i should get unpacking today and then hopefully feel a little bit more normal tomorrow morning because like my body just still feels a little out of whack i'm just gonna set up my camera um and then do a little montage of me kind of organizing my things because as you can see i have so much just like stuff everywhere already because i've been trying to find like certain things and i already made it a mess so <laughs> i'm excited to just like make it all nice and clean in here is officially done um, my luggages are now empty Hayes actually sent me these luggages I will link them down below they're so cute I'm obsessed but yeah I got a matching set from them so adorable they have so many cute luggages on their website so I'll link everything down below if you guys are looking for luggages so I put mostly everything in the closet there's actually like a lot of space in here but it's just so much nicer having everything organized I think I'm gonna take the luggages and put them in the entryway just so that they're out of the room so that the room can look nice and clean luggages fit perfectly just in the entryway it's nice how they're out of the way now so yeah this is perfect
morning, you guys. Currently like nine o'clock right now and I'm just getting ready for the day. Honestly, what I really like about here is that I have been getting myself ready every single day, no matter what I'm doing. And that's something that I wouldn't do back at my apartment. Like I wouldn't get myself ready every single day because if it was like raining outside, I just like wouldn't feel motivated to get myself ready and I would just be like eh, we're just gonna stay no makeup in our pajamas all day and it would honestly make me feel like shit doing that because then at the end of the day I feel like I was just so like icky even though like there are days where like that is necessary where you just gotta have a pajama no makeup day and just lounge around like that don't get me wrong but i was doing those way too often and the gloomy weather just did not inspire me to get ready because there was nothing to get ready for like when it was raining because it's not like i wanted to go take any photos if i wasn't filming that day i really didn't care since the weather has been like absolutely gorgeous and i've been really inspired to film really inspired to take photos here i've been getting ready every single day and just like doing some light makeup you know making myself look presentable putting on a cute outfit and it's made the world of a difference it's just made me feel so much better but yeah anyways i just went in with my NYX concealer. This is my favorite one of all time. It's the Bear With Me Concealer Serum and I use this in the shade Vanilla. But yeah, it's just like so inspiring being here and it's crazy like how much the weather and the scenery changes your mood, changes how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And I feel like I just don't have to force myself here to get ready. And sometimes that's what I would do back at my apartment is like I'd have to force myself to get ready for the day. But here, just like I want to get ready for the day and it's like such a different vibe. The weather is just like beautiful. It's a slightly humid here. It's not like, like in Mexico, it was like super humid. That's the only thing I have to really compare it to. But yeah, Mexico was super humid when I went, but here is like the perfect amount of humidity. Like it's not like super humid, but I can definitely feel like the change in the air, but it's perfect because it really helps my dry skin to be honest. And yeah, I really like the air here. I've been trying to get myself into a morning routine here because it's been really hard since jet lag was just really bad it only lasted a few days but i feel like it kind of like lingers on for a while until your body like really fully adjusts but yeah i've been trying to get into a morning routine because obviously that's going to kind of look different here than it did back at home i'm not going to be going to the gym anymore really i'm just going to probably be just doing like at home workouts or just like going on a walk in the morning on the beach or just doing something like outdoors would be nice i gotta figure out that but I don't know, maybe I'll just like put on a Pilates video in the morning. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll figure that out. I'm definitely gonna still do like my yoga every morning, but I've been just like giving myself grace. Like it's good to be disciplined and it's good to be, you know, hard on, hard on yourself at times, um, but there's also times and periods and phases where it's good to just chill and it's good to just live a chill, relaxed life as well. And finding that balance is definitely really important but yeah i've just been kind of letting my body adjust to everything because it's like a big you know it's a big change here i'll get into a routine eventually and once i find like a routine that i really like i really like want to go probably like on a beach walk every morning like that would just be so nice i like, kind of just feel like a new person here i honestly just kind of feel like my best self and like the best version of myself here and i don't know if that's just because like change of scenery but i just feel really good here and i feel really happy i don't know your environment definitely helps and when you do something that puts you out of your comfort zone it helps you grow and that's what i feel like i'm doing i have never even been on a plane by myself or with joel just like us two alone like this is our first thing that we've ever done like completely alone which is crazy but yeah it's definitely gonna take some adjusting but like i said your comfort zone keeps you home so it's important to do these types of things in your life in my opinion if you just like stay stagnant your whole life and do the same thing every day for your whole entire life i just feel like that kind of holds you back a bit i just personally feel like i'm somebody who needs like a scenery change and stuff for me to thrive and i know everyone's different but personally i just feel like that's my journey and especially just for now at least like in my 20s i just feel like i need to prioritize that to help me grow and yeah especially because i have the ability to just you know go anywhere in the world really i'm so thankful for that this life that i'm living right now it was just a dream a couple few years ago like this was just a thought 
this was just a dream this just all started with a manifestation with a little seed planted in my head and now i'm actually here and it's crazy to think about that how the law of attraction works how the universe works in high school when i didn't believe in like the law of attraction and i didn't really know about any of this if you told me that i would be a full-time youtuber living across the world i would be like yeah right when i was in high school i didn't really have the same mindset i didn't believe that i can just do something like this because i didn't believe i was worthy enough i didn't believe that it was possible but anything is possible anything you set your mind to you can do even if it seems like the biggest goal in the world and it seems like so unattainable like it is attainable you can do anything and i say that with so much confidence because the only reason why people fail is if they quit if they stop believing in themselves or if they never believed in themselves as long as you believe in yourself and you know that you're gonna get it you will get it it just takes time and you can't quit during the process and that's what makes things hard because it's really tempting to quit when you're working towards a goal whether that be you're in school and you want to become a doctor or whatever like it's gonna be tempting to quit because you, it's hard it's a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of time and the most rewarding feeling is pushing past that and not quitting and persevering and that is when you're going to make it to the finish line. I've been using this dewy um, coconut setting mist by e.l.f. and I really like it. Yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. Also, I've been using this Drunk Elephant lip, lip balm and I actually really like it. Also, I just wanna kinda live in the moment more, like just start doing stuff that I wouldn't, wouldn't normally do. Um, that are out of my comfort zone the thing is is that money money comes and goes okay like money at the end of the day you just have to realize that it's not real we don't take it with us when we die like money is only temporarily here on earth well our souls are occupying our human body obviously we need money and everything but it's also just really important to remember to not attach yourselves to it and to realize that it's like you will attract money back towards you if you follow your inner desires and that's something that i've learned is like doing these scary things and stepping out of my comfort zone is when I attract the most money because I'm fulfilling my inner desires and the universe is going to reward you for that. We only have one chance at this life for all we know. We may as well take advantage of that and do the best that we can every single day. Take advantage of every single opportunity and just live our damn lives to the fullest. Like it's so important. I do want to settle down one day. Like that is a plan probably for my like late, late 20s. I definitely want to like get a house and settle down you know have a little family but for right now i'm just gonna live my life to the fullest we're just about to leave this is the outfit that i threw on i just have these white parachute pants because it's kind of like an awkward day today it's like sunny a little bit sunny but it's also cloudy so it's not the hottest today it's around probably 20 degrees celsius and it's always a little windy here because of the ocean so you get that sea breeze but anyways so these pants are like perfect for the temperature and then i'm just wearing this black tube top with my little purse and that is it and i'm just gonna put on my probably like my adidas sneakers or something to walk there but we're just gonna go out to get some breakfast i'm also just probably gonna throw over this or bring this um mini little sweater but i've been wearing this with like every outfit here because it's just like the perfect sweater and it matches with everything and i want to wear it for every outfit but it gets so repetitive so let me know if you guys know anything i can get that's like a something different yeah we're gonna head out and get our little coffees and orange juice potentially freshly squeezed let's go just to stock up on a couple little things we're probably gonna start doing online orders instead because the store is like super small but yeah it has like everything with like, the essentials that you would need is that sunscreen they have, they have 30 tanning oil too he laid out yesterday and like joel got a bit burnt on his chest and i don't know i'm maybe looking a tiny bit red too but we definitely need sunscreen from now on i just got us a spray it's been easier so yeah no this is good is this 50 no wait what 30 30 yeah, 30 spf should we get 50 or 30? I just want to get 10. I guess 30 is fine. And then we just reapply. 
Okay guys, so now it's time for the apartment tour. This apartment is so cute. The person who owns it just paid so much attention to every little detail, like how the colors work, like there's a blue theme going on, and it's just like so cute, minimalistic, but still so cute, just like the little details. This is where you come in, and I just have like my luggage here because I feel like they're stored best here just because they're out of the way. There's not really like a closet or anything to put them in. So yeah, got the luggages here and then we got a little coat hanger which is really cute. We don't really have any jackets to hang up but if we did, it's perfect and like nice and it matches like the woodsy beach theme. Then you go down this hallway and then you have a little cute photo of a giraffe. The art in here is just so cute. Um, and then here's a little console table where we just put our like purses and stuff and there's a mirror here which is really cute so you can kind of check yourself out before you leave the house. You come in here to the left is the bathroom, just like marble on the walls, which is really cool. And yeah, there's not really much storage in here. There's two drawers here. So I kind of have my stuff in like my um, makeup bags and my cosmetic bags here. And then there's just a washer. There's no dryers in Europe, I feel like. Everybody hang dries their clothing, which is not bad. It's definitely way better for the environment. So I'm not gonna complain about it. But yeah, there's just a little washer, which is nice. At least we have that. So we don't need to hand wash our clothes. But then you come out from the bathroom and this is our bedroom. So cute. I just love how minimalistic it is. The blue matches, you'll see the kitchen, like the bed spread. Um, and then of course we have my little ramen here in the middle that I brought with me. Um, and then yeah, even like the night tables are so cute. They match with the wood theme. It's like beachy vibes. I love it. I brought my five minute journal, of course. Um, and then you go over here. There's kind of like a closet here that I have some stuff in as you guys saw. But yeah, it's a perfect amount of space. I don't really need much because I couldn't bring much since I can only really, I only really brought the luggage, so. So this is where we, we dry our clothes. This opens up like this. And like the blinds go up there, it's not all the way up right now. But as you can see, there's like cooling line. Um, so that's where you're supposed to dry your clothes. So the bathroom is right there and across from the bathroom, this is where you walk in the main living area and kitchen. So here is this cute little blue couch. Like I said, it paid so much attention to the little details. It's so cute. Um, and look at this drop. It is just so adorable. Like I love the art in here. And as you can see, he literally matches the pink pillow with the photo. And then the blue and it's like, are you kidding? It's so cute. Um, and then yeah, we have little plants in the corner, nothing too crazy, but it's just like perfect minimalistic all we need. Two windows here, which is really nice for the view. And these open the same way as the other one. It's just so nice. Just to keep it open like this. I don't know why we haven't kept this open. The view is just so pretty and we can see the ocean from here. Then you go, here is the kitchen. This is my favorite part of the place. The blue theme I'm obsessed with. Like, come see this. Like the little sugar coffee and then like the machine the espresso machine blue cutlery like where did you even find this for this dish towel and everything matches it um got some dishes you know the regular kind of kitchen thing and there's even a dishwasher i feel like that's not really common here but put a dishwasher in which is really nice then you got a little cute fridge which we barely have any groceries in because we've been eating out like every single day <laughs> because how could you not um and then a cute little freezer i made some ice cubes or ice coffee if I want to make. but even the little stove top is blue. And then even this little like fruit basket, blue and like wood. Like I can't wait to film videos in this kitchen because it's just so perfect and adorable. So then you come over here and this is the desk. Um, there's like a monitor that you can watch TV on and plug your laptop in. And then we got our cute table here where I like to do my work on. Some really cute art. The table, you get the view, comes out like this. But yeah, that is the apartment. There's also cute little like table and chairs and like lounge chairs if we want to sit out in town or whatever. It's just like a lot different than Vancouver, like the style of everything. But I honestly like really love the difference between it and like the architecture here. I prefer it just because it's so like homey. It's so rustic. I don't even know how to describe it, but like the European style is just so cute. It's definitely gonna inspire me when I buy my own house one day and like what I'm gonna want it to look like. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Welcome to the crib. So we're just about to head out for dinner because we're hungry. People in Europe, they eat dinner at, or I don't know if it's all in Europe, but I Googled it and I'm like, what time do people eat dinner in Europe? And apparently people eat dinner here at nine. We were so confused because the restaurants only opened at like 6 p.m. or like 7 p.m. Like 
earliest that's when they opened and we're like what the hell like that's so late but then we noticed that the parking lot gets so busy in front of the restaurants at like 9 10 o'clock because that's when people go to dinner here so it's only like 6 30 7 right now so when we go for dinner at this time it's hilarious because we're like the only ones in the restaurant which is kind of nice like it's not bad because we get a seat but it's just crazy how different that is like i feel like eating dinner that late is so weird but here it's just normal so let me show you guys what we got at the grocery store so i ended up finding oat milk because i've been looking for this and it was in this section that i didn't see so i'm excited to try this tomorrow i'm probably just gonna make it um with an espresso and see how it turns out but yeah i found oat milk so i'm super happy we just got this and then sunscreen but yeah so right now we're just gonna go for dinner probably just the same place that we went to eat breakfast i honestly haven't really been cooking at all because we've been wanting to try out all the restaurants and so i haven't been cooking so until we feel satisfied with like trying everything then we're just gonna eat out honestly which is like until we get sick of it i guess but it's like we got to experience their food here and so that's what we're gonna do but i feel like in a couple weeks i'll probably do some grocery shopping and start cooking some dinner and stuff but i feel like we're always gonna go out for breakfast just because it's like nice to walk to the cute little cafe and get a coffee like it's just like a vibe let's go